You're next. Cool stories. Weird stories. And murders, too. <laughs> the hermit knows of them all. Turn out your legs. Turn them out. Ah, have you heard the story? The house on Lost Man's Bluff, eh? Then listen while the hermit tells you the story. <laughs> Oh, gas? Couldn't be, Charles. Denon filled up at the last stop. What is it, Denon? For heaven's sake, man, how do I know? Well, that's that. Ooh, I hope we don't get stranded in this forsaken territory. Well, that'd be something, wouldn't it? We haven't passed a house in the last three hours. Well, I might as well get out and... See what I can do. You want me to take a look at it, Denton? No. I'll tinker with it a while. You and Nan sit down on the side of the road. I might be able to find the trouble for you, Dan. Charles was only trying to help, Denton. Never mind, I say. I have a thing going in a moment. Do as I say. Sit along the road. I'm going to work. Come on, Charles. Let's do as he says. Just as you say, Danton. Here's a nice place to sit, Charles. We can look right down into a valley from here. Why, it is nice, isn't it? See? You can look all over the valley. I wonder what they call this place. I wouldn't know. Oh, look. We're not so far from civilization as I thought. A town at the lower end of the valley. Yes. Now, that's still a long way away. You see? The road takes a roundabout way along the rim of the valley. Uh-huh. Say, uh, I bet that's where I'm going to work. Do you think so? I'll just bet you that's where the job is that Denton got for me. Way out? Away from everything? Oh, I don't know. Looks like a nice little town. I'll make out all right. I hate to have you leaving us, Charles. I'll be terribly lonesome. Oh, I'll get back to the city occasionally. You must be sure to do that. Sure I will. Nan, Denton can't hear us talking from here, can he? No. I have a feeling that he managed this job for me way out here because he didn't want me living with you two anymore. Oh, no, Charles. Why should he object to my own brother living with us? You've got me there. I can't figure it out. When I first came to stay with you, Denton talked of getting me work close by. I know he did. Nan, there's something strange about it. I don't know exactly what you mean, Charles. Yes, you do. Ever since Denton came back from that road trip, he's acted strange. Now that you mention it, I think I have noticed something different about Denton. He was jolly and friendly enough to me when I first arrived. And now, all of a sudden, he's changed. Maybe we're imagining it all. Doesn't seem that he'd be jealous of his wife's own brother, does it? No. Denton's not like that. But he has been for the last ten days. Morose, sullen, sitting most of the time staring at me. Maybe he feels I've been paying more attention to you than to him. Maybe that's it. It's only natural that I'd be solicitous of my own brother, whom I haven't seen for so many years. Uh, we won't talk about it anymore. All I hope is that he isn't ill that you aren't going to have trouble with me so far away. You said we mustn't worry about it. We won't. No. I do wish he'd get the car started. He wouldn't let me help him. Fairly pushed me away. Denon's frightfully independent. But I wish he'd hurry. Nervous? I think we're going to have a storm. We should be getting out of these hills and down into town quickly. Say, the sky is getting black and gloomy. Look over to the west. Clouds are piling up fast. Something of a wind coming up, too. Denton just stands there looking at the car as if he didn't know what he was doing. Maybe he doesn't. Well, let's go back over. Maybe you'll let me help him now. All right. 
Watch your step. There are jagged pieces of rock here. The wind's getting stronger every minute. It sure is. Looks like we might be getting a tornado. How are you making out, Denton? What? Located the trouble? We should hurry, Denton. There's a terrific storm coming up fast. Can't make the car go if it doesn't want to. Look at the sky, Denton. We're in for a real storm. Wow. There goes my hat. No use chasing it now. Please, hurry. Get the car started. All right. All right, get inside. Maybe it'll go now. Let's hurry. I'm like mad to get out of these hills and into the village before the storm breaks. I know these roads, and I'll get you out all right. Denton, don't be so cross. Jump on every word Charles says. Then don't give me orders. and hurl us down the hill. Wow. That was a peal of thunder. Denton. Denton, we can't drive on in this. No. I know we can't. What are we going to do, Dan? Can we sit in the car and be safe? We aren't going to sit here. We're going to make for shelter. But where? There's a house sitting up there on the rock. It's so dark, I can't see it. There's a house up there. I got caught in a storm the last time I was through here. Climbed up to that house and stayed until it blew over. Can we get up there all right? We can make it. We'll have to. Get out of the car. We've got to start right away. Hurry. Climb out. Give me your hand, Dad. It's in the middle of the afternoon and black as night. Oh, well, we've got to climb fast. And I'll take hold of hands and start up the rock. We've got to get to that house. We've got to get there. Give me your hand, Nan. Let's Let's go. Go. Hurry. Come on. We're here. Are you all right, Nan? All right. Knock on the door, Dan. We don't have to knock. We walk right in. What? Hurry. Get inside. Oh. Oh, what a relief. I, I thought for a few minutes we might not make it. I'll bolt this door so the wind won't rip it open. Who owns this place? Doesn't anyone live here? There was no one living in it when I stopped on my way through here last time. But it must belong to someone. It's completely furnished. Whoever owns it hasn't been here for a long time, then. Everything's covered with dust and cobwebs. I can see them even in this pale light. It's so dark in here. Can't you find a lamp or something, Denton? I'll get a light. There's one in this room off the hall. Come on, Charles, let's follow him. I don't like standing in this dark hall. I found a lamp. I'll have it lighted in a moment. Oh, it... So damp and cold in here. Ooh. There. Ah. Light makes it better, doesn't it? Some. Maybe. I don't like the looks of this place. At least we're out of the storm, man. You stopped here on your last trip through, Denton? And there was no one living here then? That's what I said, wasn't it? But it's completely furnished. Surely someone lives here now. Maybe they do. They aren't here now. It's almost like a dungeon in the room. Windows are built so high. Something like a fort. But it's Grand Denton knew of this place. It shells her out of the storm. The wind couldn't blow this building over. Denton? What? What are you staring at? What? You heard what I said. What are you staring out into the hall for? Say, Dan. Are you all right? 
Don't clench your hands that way. What do you see? Did I say I saw anything? What's the matter with you? Don't keep asking me questions. I've got you out of the storm. Isn't that enough? Now leave me alone. Where are you going? Where are you going, Denton? Stop him, Charles. Don't you think we all just sit in here? When the storm blows over, we can drive on. What's wrong with him? He's moving like a person in a trance. Get him to come back in this room. Are you ill, Denton? Is there something we can do? Stay right where you are. Both of you. What is it? I'm going into that... that room across the hall. But why... why don't we all stay together? It's dark in here. I don't like it. I want you to stay near me. I said I'm going into that room across the hall. And I'm going alone. Your brother Charles will take care of you. You prefer his company, don't you? Is that what's wrong with you? Why do you act this way toward my brother? You might as well make up your minds. Both of you. That we'll stay in this house until morning. I'm going into this room to sleep. Denton! It's no use. He is ill. He's got it in for me. Come on. Let's go back where the lamp is. Listen. You hear what he's doing? Barricading the door. What does all this mean? Oh, Charles. Let's get back to where the lamp is. It's as if he's lost his mind. Sit down. It's been coming on him for some time. Ever since he made that last trip through here. We know that. What shall we do? Why did he go into that room and leave us? As soon as we get into town, we'll persuade him to see a doctor. Let's make the best of it now. If he wants to leave us and sleep, let him. Oh. It's tough on you, Nan. I'm sorry I brought you all this trouble. Denon's never been this way before. There's something dreadfully wrong. <laughs> what was that? Oh, is that Denton laughing? No, it can't be. He's never laughed like that in his life. <laughs> Oh, it's coming from the room Denton went into. That's for sure. He's going mad. Oh, Charles. Come on. You'll have to let us in. Denton? Denton, what is it? Let us in. Dan, let us in. Locked? Bolted and barricaded. <laughs> Denton, please let us in. Hmm. <laughs> it is coming from in there. But it's not Denton. It can't be. Oh, what are we going to do? What shall we do? Everything's all right now, Nan. He's quieted down. He answered you the last time you went over to the room? Yes. He said, I'm all right. Go away. Oh. I think he's going to sleep now. We might as well do the same. I can't sleep in this horrible house. Yes, you can. It'll only be a few hours before morning. But what if Denton refuses to come out of that room in the morning? Well, he'll be better in the morning. Storm's passed over, too. Everything will seem different in the morning. Leave the lamp burning. I'm scared. Sure. I'll set it on the mantel. It won't bother our eyes, but it will shed some light. Yes. That will be all right. You think Danton will sleep? I think he's asleep now. I'd break the door down then if I thought it would do any good. But I think it's best to let him get over this spell by himself. I'll never believe it was he laughing. Who could it have been but Denton? Oh, 
Now, don't worry anymore. Try to get some sleep. If he calls out, I'll wake you up. It seems like a nightmare, doesn't it? It will in the morning. Everything will be different then. Go to sleep now. You need the rest. before the night is done. <laughs> now, back to the hermit. <laughs> Terror-stricken Charles and Nan stand in the middle of the room in this strange house on Lost Man's Bluff. Wondering who tried to kill Charles. Listen. <laughs> you mean you think it was... I know it was Denton. Oh, that's ridiculous. Denton trying to kill me. I know it was he. With his hands reaching out for your throat. Oh, no. And when I screamed, he ran back into that room and closed the door. Charles, where are you going? I'm going to get him out of that room before something really happens. You mustn't go near him. I've got to. No, you stay here. Never. I'm going with you. I'm going to make him let me in there. He may try to kill you again. I don't think he will. You stay behind me. Denton? Denton! Denton! The door's unlocked. Denton? Denton? Stay back, man. I'm going to light a match. Uh, Great heaven. Denton. What is it? Get back. Don't look. Why are you closing the door? What is it, Charles? What did you see? No. Denton's... Something's happened to him. Something's happened to Denton. What is it, Charles? Tell me quick. What is it? Denton's... Hanged himself. <gasps> Keep holding yourself, Nan. We've got to get out of here. Down into town and get the authorities here. Denton. Oh, Denton, save yourself. Well, let's hope the car runs. We've got to get into town. <laughs> the laughter again. Look. Look. Up at the top of the stairs. What is it? In this faint light, it... It looks like the figure of a man. Yes, but you can see right through him. <laughs> it disappeared. Standing there at the head of the stairs, pointing at us, then vanished. That same laughter. Charles, you're not going up there. 
We're going to get out of this place right away and get help. Quick, hurry, we must get help. Well, I tell you, it's urgent. You've got to go up there right now. Go up to that house on Lost Man's Bluff before daybreak? Right now. Oh, no, not me. But my husband is dead in that house. Would never enter the door of that house at night. No, sir. Neither would anyone else in this town. Dead and is dead. He ain't the first one to die up there. What do you mean? He never heard of the house on Lost Man's Bluff? No. We don't live around here. Oh, well, that explains that. What did you mean when you said that Denton was not the first man to die there? Five years ago, a fellow that owned that house killed his brother. Then hanged himself. What? That's right. But hanging didn't seem to take him out of this world. Now, I ain't the only one that's been there, passed there at night and heard his wild laughter. Uh, it's fit to make the hair stand right up on a man's spine. Uh, other folks tried to live in that house. But you know what happens to them when they go in a certain room in that house? The room Denton tried to sleep in? The desire to kill enters in them. And the laughter of him that belongs to the other world drives them mad. They can't get away from it. They return to the place. Charles, that's what happened to Denton. He said he'd been in that house before. They try to kill. If there's anyone near to kill, and then they take their own lives. It's happened to three other people. One man got back to town and told his experience. But he went back up there a few weeks later... And took his life. Hanged himself. Oh, no, sir. You'll have to wait till morning. Won't get nobody to go up there in the night to that house on Lost Man's Bluff. and similarity to persons, places, or occurrences is purely accidental. All characters, places, and occurrences mentioned in the Hermit's Cave are fictitious, and similarity to persons, places, or occurrences is purely accidental.